calling the we call the city council at meeting to order to state that the notice for this meeting was to be posted. There's a quorum of council president and our assistant city manager. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Next item on the agenda is the swearing in or swearing at. <laughs> Faithfully execute the duties that I will faithfully execute the duties of the office of the, the office of the city of Missouri City, city. of Missouri City, uh, yes. the state of Texas, the state of Texas, and will to the best of my ability, and will to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution and laws, the Constitution and laws of the United States, of the United States, and of this state, and of this state. So. Oh, I'm about to smile. Stacy, was there a second? Let me take a photo of that, please. Let me <laughs> Mr. Mayor, uh, council, and, and, and city staff, I'd like to thank you for this opportunity in which uh, to both allow us to introduce 774 Consulting and uh, provide us this, this forum in which to recognize a great entity that uh, our organization has sought to uh, benefit. And uh, I, we couldn't uh, have a better parallel in uh, initiative from the beautification of Texas. And we think that some of our, uh, our core members are beautiful as well indeed <laughs> anyway and, and so we, we we really do appreciate <laughs> we, we really appreciate this opportunity 774 though incorporated as for profit um, one of our core initiatives is to look forward or look out within the community of uh, Missouri City and, and find organizations such as Missouri City Green in which to profit and um, partner from some of our profits, and, and we couldn't have done a better job in selecting these individuals to uh, be recipients of what awesome. we have. So on, on behalf of 774 Consulting, we'd like to present you with this check for $500, token of our appreciation. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and it will be going back into Missouri City. <laughs> Can you get us on the Yes. Thank you. Thank you.
All right, this proclamation says that whereas today's society is finding more citizens involved in motorcycling on the roads of our country, and whereas campaigns have helped inform riders and motorists alike to motorcycle safety issues to reduce motorcycle-related risk, injuries, and most of all, fatalities, through a comprehensive approach to motorcycle safety, and whereas it is a responsibility of all who put themselves behind the wheel to become aware of the motorcyclist, regarding them with the same respect as any other vehicle traveling the highways of this country, and it is the responsibility of riders and motorists alike to obey all the traffic laws and safety rules. And whereas urging all citizens of our community to become aware of the inherent danger involved in operating a motorcycle, and for riders and motorists alike to give each other the mutual respect they deserve. Now therefore, I, Alan Owen, on behalf of the Council and the citizens of Missouri City, do hereby proclaim claim the month of May 2016 as Motorcycle Safety and Awareness Month in Missouri City and urge all of our residents to do their part to increase safety and awareness in our community. Sean, you want to say something? Oh. Go ahead. So this is something that we do every year in cities all across Texas. As a matter of fact, we're in three other cities tonight. Stagecoach, Willis, Huntsville. And we just ask that you share the message to look out for us when we ride. We're all as professional, for most of us, as you are. I'm a legal secretary. In our club, we have a um, deputy. We have a flight attendant. And we, you know, we like to ride. And we ask that you just look out for us. And Jerry rides, so that's why you're <laughs> Unfortunately, beginning June 1st, we know what this uh, next proclamation is all about. But anyway, whereas Texas hurricane season officially begins June 1st and ends November 30th, and whereas the National Weather Service and the Governor's Division of Emergency Management are de designating the week of May 15th through the 21st as Hurricane Awareness Week in Texas, and whereas the 624-mile Texas Gulf coastline, areas of Texas, hundreds of miles inland, and our area in particular are vulnerable to the devastating effects of a hurricane or tropical storm, including heavy rainfall, inland flooding, high winds, tornadoes, storm surges. We met some hail this week. Whereas the threat of life and the year by year increasing property damage from the destructive forces of hurricane and coastal flooding can be reduced dramatically by careful planning and timely implementation of emergency response and evacuation plans. And whereas the best defense of preparedness and public education about the dangers of the high winds, storm surge, flooding, and tornadoes may occur for hundreds of miles in conjunction with a hurricane or tropical storm. Now, therefore, I, Alan Owen, on behalf of the Council and the citizens of Missouri City, hereby proclaim May 15th through the 21st, 2016, as Hurricane Awareness Week in the city of Missouri City, and urge all of our citizens, Fort Bend County, Harris County, and this particular community and hurricane preparedness activities and to pay close attention to any warning instructions. So, Punch, you want to say something? Don't be coming back. Punch Ann is our emergency operations uh, person right now, and uh, we just took that roll over. Thank you, Mayor and Council. Uh, I just want to urge citizens uh, in our city to please uh, have a plan during this uh, hurricane season. It is, it is six months long. June, January, June 1st through November 30th, pardon me. So please uh, be prepared, do your part to protect yourselves and your property, and that will also enable us to better serve you during this time. Thank you.
You know, even though Ponce didn't say anything about it, having been through one of them that we had in Ike, let me just remind the citizens that, you know, while we're in the emergency operations center trying to take care of the city, if I tell you to evacuate, please do so. Uh, I can tell you that Missouri City being 60 years old uh, this year, a lot of the houses in Missouri City were built before the standards required hurricane straps. And we have a class three hurricane in this city, it will blow your roof off and you don't want to be in that house. So, you know, one of the things that we saw when we, when we had Ike is that the previous storm was such a bad, you know, situation for everybody being stuck on the highways, no gas, no food and everything. People were reluctant to leave their house when we told them that they needed to be, you know, evacuating. So I urge you that, you know, if that situation comes up, our main role at the city is to make sure that your property is protected. Uh, when I declare martial law, uh, the purpose of that is to allow our police officers to control the streets, to let people in and out. Don't worry about your personal belongings. Those can be replaced. You can't. Uh, so I just hope that if we have that, and I hope we don't, that you pay attention to our warnings. And, you know, we now have a radio station. And we have an AM radio station that you can actually get an AM radio station now on your car radio. I'm not sure you can get one in the house anymore, but you can get it on your car radio. But it's, you know, it operates within about a 10-mile radius to know what's happening within our own city. Because in most cases, you lose electricity. Uh, and people don't have the TVs and the electrical appliances that they have. Get a battery-operated radio. Get a battery-operated light. You know, make sure that you have the supplies on hand because that's the thing that, uh, at least during Ike, you know that the stores ran out of things very quickly. Don't wait for that to happen. Prepare now. Have your hurricane preparedness kit at home, packed, ready to go. Batteries last a long time. Water lasts a long time. Non-perishable foods are, but it's just better to be safe ahead of time than to wait until, you know, something happens. We've seen some storms recently where we've lost electricity, and you know how that is, uh, but to go 10 or 12 days without electricity is, uh, <laughs> is not fun. So I urge you to pay attention to what we're talking about here and, and prepare your, you and your family for that. So, Ponce, thank you for doing that. All right, get to my agenda here. Item four, public comments, and I didn't see anyone sign up to make any public comments, so we'll move past that. Item five, our staff reports, and the city manager's report. Mayor, I do have a couple of updates. Uh, First of all, it's National Police Week, and we are all thankful for the Missouri City Police Department's dedication to keeping our streets among the safest in the nation. So uh, as we salute Missouri City finest, please remember to mark your calendars for the annual police memorial service on Wednesday, this Wednesday, May 18th at 7 p.m. And that's going to be, that will be held at the public safety headquarters on Pro uh, Protectors Plaza. Uh, join us for an evening to honor the courageous actions of our men and women uh, in blue uh, as they, as you know, com combat uh, issues on a day to day basis, particularly the crime in our community. Anthony, uh, I know that. I was talking to the chief. If there's inclement weather, the decision will be made by 4 o'clock. That's correct. To move it to the community center next door, right? Yes, sir. That's correct. So I would assume that citizens would be able to see that on our website. On our website and uh, MCTV, Stacey, all the other media MCTV sources. MCTV as well, we correct. Post that immediately at 4 o'clock so the citizens know to look, to look there. And I guess we would have something down, maybe our electronic message board down at City Hall that if it does get moved, we can turn it on and direct yeah. people up here. We'll Good. Thank you. Uh, one of the other things, and, and our chief was uh, going to be providing earlier the uh, annual report, but we'll reschedule that at a later time. But on a public safety front, I want to applaud the police department for creating another proactive community-oriented policing initiative. Uh, it's called the Data-Driven Approach to Crime and Traffic Safety, and it integrates location-based crime and traffic data to establish effective and efficient methods for deploying law enforcement and other resources. The goal of the program 
system is to reduce the incidence of crime, crashes, and traffic violations. So we look forward to employing uh, the new resource to enhance our public safety citywide. Mayor Council, as you may know, we have many long-standing community partnerships that benefit our citizens. Uh, a new one is the Marshall High School Boys and uh, Big Brothers and Big Sisters initiatives that will soon be offered as an opportunity within our municipal volunteer program, which is managed through our communications department. It starts as following. We'll match volunteers with freshman students based on preferences, personalities, and cap uh, compatibility. Participants will complete a short training session to help build a positive mentoring relationship and will then meet at least three to four hours a month with their little brother or sister at the high school. Uh, please stand and be recognized. Uh, but Raul Garcia, I think, is here, program manager for Big Brother, uh, is with us tonight, and we're excited to be working with them. So if he can be, uh, please stand and be recognized. We want to thank him for their leadership and partnership. Another uh, initiative with the Fortpian ISD that we're very proud of is the Willow Ridge High School Job Shadow Program. I had the uh, great honor uh, last week to welcome a large number of uh, high school students here at City Hall. Um, they uh, were able to job shadow a number of our department uh, leaders uh, in the areas of finance, technology, communications, uh, and they did an outstanding job and took a large amount of wealth of information, but more importantly, as I shared with them, uh, uh, it's important for us to expose them on the rigors, but more importantly, the great uh, things that public servants do on a day-to-day -day basis. And to see the f their faces when they were complete after that day, a lot of them uh, took a large amount of, uh, I think, wisdom with them, but more importantly, uh, some thoughts about what they can be in the next uh, three to five years, particularly as they make decisions on what they want to be uh, when they graduate from uh, school. So it was a great learning experience for all, and we want to thank all of the participating departments. We are steadily making preparations to travel to Denver, as you may know, for the All-American City Award, as I stated a couple of weeks ago. We are one of two Texas cities, San Antonio being the other, that were recognized as finalists for the All-American City designation. And uh, our goal is to uh, take that momentum, uh, the community momentum, to Denver to bring back a win but I want to thank the staff and delegation partners who have been working very hard over the course of the last several weeks to prepare with their presentation um, before the panel in Denver. Two final points, Mayor and Council. The City will present an overview of our strategic growth and development at the Fort Bend Chamber of Commerce on Thursday, May 26th at 7.30 a.m. Yeah, I know. Uh, we will be there. We'll be getting up to hear you that morning. <laughs> I hope to do a great job, sir. <laughs> and uh, all of our non-emergency city offices will be closed for Memorial Day on Monday, May 30th. Residents who participate in the Municipal Solid Waste Program will receive regular trash pickup on this holiday. That concludes my update at this time, Mayor. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. Any questions of the city manager? Not well moved. Item 6 is a consent agenda. Is there a motion to approve the consent agenda as printed? So moved. I second. Councilman White made the motion. Mayor Pro Tim Smith made the second. All those in favor? Motion carries. Item 7 are public hearings and related actions. 7A and B, there are none. Item 8 are appointments, there are none. Uh, I'd like to suspend the rules and uh, if we can take item 10D out of order then we'll get our bond people on their way. We gotta have them wait. Is we'll there a motion to do rule that? To go to item 10D. An ordinance of the City of Missouri City, Texas, authorizing the issuance and sale of City of Missouri City, Texas combination tax and revenue certificates of obligation, series 2016A, in the aggregate principal amount of $4,025,000, levying a tax on the payment thereof, awarding the sale thereof, authorizing the execution and delivery of a paying agent registrar agreement, approving the official statement, confirming the engagement of professionals in, in connection with the issuance of the certificates of obligation, 
investigation, finding and determining that the meeting at which this ordinance is passed is open to the public as required by law, and enacting other provisions relating thereto. We'll make that motion to suspend the rules and approve the ordinance all in the same one. It's all those in favor, motion carried. Very good, thank you. See, Derek, how easy it is? Thank you. <laughs> Did y'all have any questions of Derek? He came all the way out here to answer questions. <laughs> no. Thank you, sir. Bill does. Yeah, I know. Just to point out that yeah, not, yeah, Bill. this is a uh, $4 million issuance for the extension of a water line as part of agreement for provision of water to the uh, Siena uh, districts down south. And so uh, we're doing that obligation with this. Paid for by the users. Correct. And we did get great. That's important. We did get great rates, as they mentioned to you this morning. Spencer uh, is here. If you have any questions from the guard, the guard of the FA. Great job. Get the rates. Things are looking up for us. Thank you. All right, item nine, our authorization to 9A is to consider approving the allocations for the program year 2016, the Community Development Block Grant Annual Action Plan. Move yes. That up. yes. Mayor Pro Tem Smith made the motion. Is there a second? Second. Nelson Emery made the second. Any discussion? <coughs> Not all those in favor. Motion carries. Thank you, dear. Thank you. Item 9B is consider authorizing the, the negotiation and execution of a lease agreement for video recovery system. Yes, sir. Um, right now we have a issue in public safety where our video surveillance system, um, that's including court, fire, IT, and PD, um, is end of life and ceased to work as of last week. We put an interim solution in place for a part of it, um, part of the building, but we are looking to facilitate a lease option to purchase a citywide solution, just not public safety. Any questions? What's what's the retention? Well, it's based on 90-day 90, 90 retention for the security um, security system, but we can make it longer, whatever we would like. But right now, it's 90 days. Ninety days, that's kind of the norm. <laughs> what did you say the attorney says? <laughs> Any other questions? If not, is there a motion? Move to the second. There's a second. second. Right. Councilman White made the motion. Mayor Pro Tem Smith made the second. All those in favor? Motion carries. Item 10, ordinances. An ordinance of the City of Missouri City, Texas, authorizing the mayor to execute and the city secretary to attest, respectively, the development agreement between the City of Missouri City and Sienna Johnson North LP for the development of property previously owned by the Houston Community College System, providing for severability and providing for other matters relating to the subject. And this is the second file reading. There have been any changes? No, sir. Is there a motion? So moved. Is there a second? Second. And a motion by Councilman White and a second by Councilman Emery. All those in favor? All opposed? Motion carries. Item 10B. An ordinance of the City of Missouri City, Texas, authorizing the mayor to execute and the city secretary to attest, respectively, the, the development agreement between the City of Missouri City and Siena 325 LP for the development of property located along Watts Plantation Road for mixed uses. Yeah. Providing for severability and providing for other matters relating to the subject. This also is a second final reading. Have there been any changes? Oh, is there a motion? So Second. Motion by Councilman Emery, second by Councilman White. All those in favor? All opposed? Motion carries. Item 10C. An ordinance of the City of Missouri City, Texas, authorizing the mayor to execute and the city secretary to attest, respectively, the development agreement between the City of Missouri City and Siena 325 LP for the development of property located along Watts Plantation Road for residential uses, providing for severability and providing for other ma and providing for other matters relating to the subject. 
This also is the second final reading. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. Motion by Councilman Emery, second by Councilman White. All those in favor? Motion, motion carries. All right. 10 E. An ordinance of the City of Missouri City, Texas, providing for a special runoff election to be held on June 11th, 2016, for the purpose of electing a council member at large, position two, providing for a joint election on June 11th, 2016, to be administered by Fort Bend County, providing for election precincts and polling places, providing for repeal, providing for severability, and containing other provisions relating to the subject. If I read that right, are the runoff voting places for Early will be Well Valley Fund, City Hall, First Colony Community, and where's the fourth one? Well, currently there are six there are early six. voting polling locations. Uh, There's six. 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 So your, what am I missing? You're. I'm not sure that the. Did I say High Tower. Is High no. Tower one. Did Stop. you say the Sugarland City Hall, Lost Creek Park? No, those are the two in Sugarland. I was only concerned about those in Missouri City. <laughs> <laughs> well, because we're contracting with the county, right. the residents can vote at any polling location. Right. Okay. Very good. All right. This is a one-time reading. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. Motion by Councilman White. Second by Councilman Rulis. All those in favor? Motion carries. Item 10F. An ordinance of the City Council of the City of Missouri City, Texas, adopting pay structures and an incentive and certification pay plan for non-exempt personnel, exempt personnel, fire personnel, and police personnel, providing an effective date, providing for repeal, and providing for severability. So moved. Mayor Pro Tem Smith made a motion. Is there a second? Second. Mr. Mayor, the uh, yes, finance committee did meet several times with <clears throat> the city managing staff regarding this, this and the committee does recommend that the council approve oh. uh, based on the fact that the increase will also sustain the city with maintaining competitive salaries. Very good. You know, I was thinking, we did not, going back to the, to, 10 D, I don't know where it was. We did not mention that Robert W. Baird and company was a winning yeah, yeah. bid, and we should have. So let me correct 10 D by adding that Robert W. Baird and company was the winning bidder at 2.552689%. And I think that had to be, it's supposed to be in there, E. Joyce. Yeah, I think it might actually already be in the ordinance in the that was provided. Is it in the ordinance? But um, let me, give me just a minute and I'll make sure. I didn't remember hearing it. Mayor, while she's looking, uh, I, I would be remiss if I didn't recognize Michael Higgins, who has been working uh, very hard over the course of the next, uh, not only getting our CAFRA, but working with our FA. Uh, this will be his last week with the city. He's uh, received a promotion uh, at another location. But we want to thank uh, Michael. Michael for his hard work, and uh, he's so dedicated to the city of Missouri City over the course of the last several years that he's been here. And as you know, over the course of the last uh, year has served a dual capacity and uh, not only uh, interim director but assistant director. So I want to take this time to thank uh, Michael and recognize him for the job. You're dressed program. up all like. You know, you didn't figure what that was, Michael. <laughs> well, congratulations and thank you. Was it in there? Yes, it is in there. Did you read it? Can I, uh, I did, up? but you know, this draft actually came in today. Okay. And so the draft that I had didn't have an I thought, awardee. I didn't in think it, I heard it. Okay, we're this good. Was, yeah, this was provided good. today, so we should have it. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, we did not vote on 10F. Were you through? Yeah, but also yeah. on the salary increases, uh, the staff did take in consideration of council. <clears throat> elevating the level of staff Sarah's last year to support the strategic plan. That recommendation, that recommendation is included in what is being recommended for us tonight. 
uh, and I think hopefully now that that's happened, the city will continue in that effort of making sure that we keep staff salaries at a level that to ensure that they are competitive in the marketplace. Exactly. Very good. All right, there was a motion by Mayor Pro Tem Smith and a second by Councilman Rolas. All those in favor? Motion carries. Thank you. Item 11 are resolutions. A resolution of the City Council of the City of Missouri City, Texas, granting consent to Fort Bend County Municipal Utility District Number 26 to annex certain land situated within the City of Missouri City, Texas. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. Then a motion by Councilman White, second by Mayor Pro Tem Smith. Are there any questions, comments? Not. We vote all those in favor. Motion carries. Randy got 11 more acres. <laughs> Item 12 or City Council announcements. Uh, there you have any? I just want to thank the people for going out and uh, voting during the election. Uh, uh, I very much appreciate it. I, I do like what I do. I enjoy what I do. And I'm glad to be back to do what I do. With better eyesight. Congratulations on his recent eye surgery. 2020 now. Uh, you know, I'd kind of like to uh, echo what uh, Jerry said. Uh, you know, we had, I'm not sure what the percentage was of registered voters. Around 11, was it 11 yeah, percent? Yeah, two? probably around 11 percent. Out of 45,000, there were 5,200. 5,200. So uh, that, that's still woefully short of what it ought to be. So uh, I, I would just uh, ask that uh, when we get to the point of our recall election, not recall, oh, yeah. rerun, rerun, rerun election, that uh, you, know, you, you take the opportunity to, uh, to go out and vote. Uh, you know, it's, it's one of the rights that a lot of people have worked and, and died for it so that we could vote. So I think we need to honor those folks, uh, you know, by uh, taking advantage of what they've, uh, what they've given and done for us. So, I think you're yeah. And I think that the early voting is May 31st yes. through the 4th? Through uh, June 7th. Through June 7th? Yes. Okay. So. Absolutely. Yolanda? No. Anthony? We attended National Prayer Day, yeah, we did. Uh, a, a worthwhile uh, time for us to spend some time as a community to pray. So we enjoyed that. Also, without disclosing a lot of uh, details that we get on white papers, uh, our Missouri City Police Department continues to clamp down on crime. They do it very effectively. Thank you, Chief, for your leadership. And uh, thanks to the men and women in blue, the BAT team, et cetera. Um, and I hope everyone comes out Wednesday night to uh, share their thoughts and prayers. Yeah. I'd like to yield my time to City Manager Anthony Snipes to discuss how we come in with uh, the citizen participation for the trip to, uh, to Denver. Uh, how's it looking? Thank you, Mayor Pro Tem, for the opportunity. Uh, we are working very hard uh, to engage the community, but so far we've had tremendous um, response and feedback from not only our uh, corporate partners, but also some of our uh, HOAs, uh, utility districts, uh, and uh, private interest uh, individuals who uh, understand the importance of uh, keeping Missouri City on the map because uh, this award is not just about the city, but it's about other partners, the county, uh, several of our nonprofits who work very hard to engage not only our young uh, folks, but others. So it's going extremely well, and uh, we're getting calls every day uh, asking how they can help and how they can engage to make sure that we come back with the win. So we want to thank the community for uh, their support of this delegation as we go in June to hopefully represent our city the best way that we can. And let me remind uh, Council that uh, the 26th, which is before we meet again, the 26th is the Fort Bend Mayor and Council's meeting. It's in Stafford at the Stafford Center. So mark that on your calendar and try to attend that. So the only other thing I have, and I, and I echo what uh, Jerry and Floyd said, is that we sometimes overlook the the reason that we're able to vote in this country. And I, I know I sent an email out early on and I said, you know, whether you vote for us or not, 
show your appreciation for the people that have given their lives so that we have the ability to do this. And it's unfortunate that some countries don't even have the ability to go vote. India, for example, 80% of their people go to the polls and vote. Just the reverse in the United States. So we have our priorities confused, I think. And we have people that complain about things, but they don't go to the polls and voice that when they should. And, you know, for those of us who are on local government, what we do every day affects your everyday lives. What the national does and state does affects your lives, but not near what we do up here. And you just heard it when Scott did the budget. It's streets, it's sidewalks, it's drainage, it's storm <coughs> sewers, it's all of the things that affect your daily lives. And we need to make sure that if you do nothing else, and it's so easy today. You know, used to when I grew up, that was called absentee voting because you had to be out of town and claim you were absentee voting. Now it's called early voting. It's almost two weeks, almost two weeks for people to stop. And as I said, whether you vote for us or anybody else, stop and give five minutes to those service people who've given their lives, giving us the opportunity to do that in this country. So. I wish there was something that we could do different, uh, but it's a national trend right now, I think, for voter apathy, and yet they complain when things go bad. Uh, so anyway, I appreciate those who took the time to go vote, and I take and I appreciate the time that those people took to reelect me. So I look forward to two years of moving our city along even further than where we are, and I'm proud of what we do. So thank you all. That's it. Do we have a closed executive session? Very good.